The 12 News exclusive, a state lawmaker describes a new attempt by former President Donald Trump to pressure Wisconsin Republicans to decertify the state's presidential results. 12 News' Matt Smith is joining us now live. Matt, the new account is coming from Assembly Speaker Robin Voss. Voss telling us in an interview for Upfront, Trump called him last week just after the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruling declaring absentee ballot drop boxes illegal in the state. That phone call happening, then Voss says Trump blasting him on social media. When's the last time you talked to the former president, President Trump? Uh, within last week. Within the last week? Yeah. Before or after he tweeted about you? Uh, before. And what was that conversation like? Uh, it's, you know, it's one of those that, that it's very consistent. He makes his case, which I respect. Um, he would like us to do something different in Wisconsin. I explained that it's not allowed under the Constitution. He has a different opinion, then he put the tweet out. So that's it. Yeah. The former president's most recent attempt to pressure Wisconsin Republicans to decertify Wisconsin's 2020 results. Now coming after the Wisconsin Supreme Court ruled the use of absentee ballot drop boxes is illegal. The court case, as you read it, does not go back and say what happened in 2020 was illegal. It just says going forward it can't happen. The answer not appearing to satisfy the former president, so he took to social media. Voss, a longtime professional rhino, Republican in name only, always looking to guard his flank, will be doing nothing about the amazing Wisconsin Supreme Court decision, Trump said. The Democrats would like to sincerely thank Robin and all of his fellow rhinos for letting them get away with murder. How did you describe your relationship with him? Because after he comes out and calls you a rhino and saying you're allowing Democrats to get away with murder. <laughs> yep, I mean, I can't, I think we all know Donald Trump is Donald Trump. Uh, there's very little that we can do to, to try to control or predict what he will do. And Matt, the influence of the former president is important here because Speaker Voss is facing a Republican primary challenger. A rarity in this district, Patrick, and a challenger who says Voss hasn't done enough after the 2020 election. This week for Upfront, we are in Voss's 63rd Assembly District, talking with him and his Republican challenger about the Trump factor. That's all coming up new Sunday morning on Upfront. Matt Smith reporting live tonight.